So this was a kind of a edit and brief overview of my trip basically to Gas Bay Peninsula. The plan was to explore some of the various rivers for Atlantic salmon possibly in the summer, live in the Forerunner, drive around the coast. Gas Bay Peninsula is located at basically the mouth of the St. Lawrence River and exposes you to the Atlantic coast of eastern Canada. Before taking this 15 hour drive or so from the Toronto area, I noticed I had some loose tie rod ends, a leaking CD inner boot, rear brakes were needing an upgrade as well. So I had a couple days of work uh, flaring up new brake lines to just in general to make sure I felt confident taking on this journey. So after about the 12 to 14 hours of driving, I kind of reached the town of Mount St. Anne de Ball. This town is kind of situated on the upper portion of the peninsula. And in my opinion, it's kind of when you reach the area of the Gaspé Peninsula where there's more elevation mountains and the coastline becomes just beautiful. The plan was basically to get into a rather remote stretch of river if I had access rights to fish. It's important to understand the Quebec regulations with the Atlantic salmon. Um, you can't just fish any river, you have to have access rights as well. What I was, I was starting to get really stoked. My, I, I had a large stretch of river I was able to fish. I, had, I knew there was possibility of sight fishing Atlantics at this time of the year, uh, which would be unreal to get a Atlantic on the dry fly. Having the confidence of my truck, I felt like I could get into places that a lot of people wouldn't be able to get to and explore a large amount of water. Now, when I got to the area, I was looking to kind of target the weather wasn't really on my side it was very hot the water was low clear a lot of it was just scouting and trying to see if i could find fish because the water is so clear and low Now I thought this pool right here, if there's an Atlantic in this river, it's got to be in this pool. If I swing a blue charm seven weight, kind of finesse it in there, if I don't see a fish, there's no fish here.
fortunately, I just, I don't think there was fish here. The fish have moved through. Sometimes it's like that, migratory fish. They don't always stay, they, they push through. It's like a hybrid. Exploring some of these spots and trails, locals gave me some insight, but it was awesome. I went further down river the next day, some rain, fished some of the different pools, but I just didn't have any luck. It was pretty obvious the fish weren't there. Spent a lot of time just driving through the back roads and went to a whole nother river, about three, four hours down. Looked around, set up camp for the night. next morning explored another stretch of river into one of the, uh, uh, quite a well-known river in the region um, waters once again very low we had a good amount of rain but it just really uh, absorbed that rain it just got sucked into the ground the water of gas bay it's surprisingly so clear Now here I kind of headed down a bit of a camping spot, a local Jeep guy told me to explore or challenge me. Realized that trail was pushed to the limits. Three, four days in, I had I had to change my plans. I realized the salmon is just not worth it. So eventually I basically decided I was gonna target stripers. Now the striper fishery on the Atlantic coast has recovered a lot compared to what it once was. And I was pretty stoked getting into this and looking down the estuaries and I, I caught some fish pretty quickly. People cast these swim baits a lot around kind of these estuaries.
took in some of the scenery. It was definitely, uh, compared to being in the inland, a lot more people around and civilization. Just being able to pull up, fish, sit down, relax, have a swim, pretty awesome. After a few days of being in the back country almost, I was due to relax. So near the end of the trip here, I wanted to get my heart rate going a bit and I decided to kind of break out my Trail Forks app and find a good local network to ride some trails here. This was at a uh, bit of a ski resort and was kind of more downhill kind of riding, but it involved quite the climb up to the summit. Uh, definitely a, a good Big Mac burned to reach the top of the summit. So this specific trail, 600 volts, was uh, pretty gnarly. Um, just had some really nice berms, flowy sections, really well maintained.
I was able to get some beachfront spots to camp at uh, for the next couple days, which was pretty sweet. It's nothing like just waking up, casting a few flies, cooking some meals. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it for this trip here. Brief summary. Hope that you enjoyed it. Cheers.